Shalom. Kahalal gimla kihal pashim yavashai pashim rakal kotash. Tavalon santi the elders apostles of great most on the elders the elders on down. Shalom to since the akim with the soya for yihal pashim yavashai scattered us in his last days. Or for less than what actual trans transgressions our iniquity sexual deserve. Or yihal pashim yavashai is merciful. All right. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, your descendants scattered abroad, you are the true Hebrew Israelites, okay, the chosen nation before the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and still chosen and still loved unto this day, okay? None else. This is going to be a quick uh, response to a, a comment that I got in the inbox. The guy saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, an East, I'm a so called East Indian, I'm also an, uh, how about us when we got our souls into, the, in, into slavery? All over the world we also we, so this is what uh this misconception that mo most uh you indians a lot of you which are nothing but elamites are uh, sons of elam okay Th that's who you are you're not israelites okay east indians are not israelites you're elam but the scripture says well we are as the sand of the sands of the sea we are scattered even amongst you elamites but that's not make does not make uh you east indians israelites you're not okay you were never sold unto the nations okay it is a lie okay it is a lie okay just gonna go through this uh few articles okay the first one's gonna be from this uh, website uh it's because uh, it's sahistory dot 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 uh dot org dot za okay go into the history of what happened in south africa i'm gonna start there okay I'm going to start. It says a history of slavery and early colonization in South Africa. Okay, so you're from 1655 to 1795, going forth, so on and so forth. Okay, when now when when the Edomites, the so-called Dutchies, when they first uh, arrived here in South Africa. Okay. It says uh, with colonialism, uh, which began in South Africa in 1652, came slavery. And forced labor model, model. Uh, and uh, part of the, the problems when they encountered when they arrived here, when they came across the the koi, the koi and the sun, okay, the indigenous people in the in the in the in the, in, in the Western Cape when they arrived here, it was, it was what they were not willing our laborers when when um, when uh, when John van Rieweg, okay, when the Edomites, and all the rest of their friends when they arrived here. They were they were what unwilling labor laborers, all right. And the thing is what they were uh, these Edomites they were all already uh, established a relationship a relationship with the East uh, with the East Indians, so to speak, uh, the Elamites. Okay. Uh, going on says a uh, slave says a uh, slavery in uh, at the Cape. Uh, it says John van Riebeek who founded the first colony at Cape Town. In 1652 was official Dutch East Indian Company the Dutch market their preeminence pre, pre, uh, pre, by building five pointed stone ca uh, castle uh, on the store of the bay blah 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 blah, blah. let me jump and go to the point okay it says that the Dutch are settlers or oh, it says that uh, Says so that the, uh, since since uh, the uh, the indigenous people that they, they found here were not willing, uh, cause uh, to be slaves un unto them, okay, they they struggled and struggled. They ended up what, taking their cattle, dis dispossessing them of their cattle, implementing all kinds of uh, wicked devices against them. Eventually, uh, they won, okay. Corona says the Dutch settlers were therefore forced to 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 look for slaves, uh, to look to look elsewhere for their labor needs in 1658 a year after first free beggars okay the we later all known to be boars okay the edomites had been granted their plot of land uh the first slaves were imported into south africa specifically for agric agric agricultural work the slaves arrived on the cape in uh on march the 20th march 1658 on board on Unsfraud uh, and been captured by the Dutch from a Portuguese slave, slaver en route to Brazil. Says so from the says so of the two hundred fifty slaves captured, 
only 170 survived the journey to 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 the Cape. It says most of these slaves were originally captured um, by the Portuguese in the present day Angola on on the 6th of May 1658. 228 slaves from another group of slaves arrived at the Cape on board from Hulst Hassalt from Hot Salt uh, from Ghana from seventeen from seventeen ten onwards and all that slave population had done but uh, the population colonial uh, colonial uh, population by as much as three to one going back to what let me get this precept in the book of uh, Exodus because most people wouldn't even know that uh, uh, you Israelites those of you are okay as we fled from our for from our land the besieging of the downfall of, of our okay the besieging of our, of jerusalem 70 AD, uh, when we got taken out taken down there were those who who are who who ended up what being sold not only from from the west coast of africa into going into 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 the, the americas into the new world though today but there were those who got captured and sold into into South Africa, all right? and that's part of the the hidden history that most people don't even know about that, all right? But very few, not not a whole lot. Okay, this is a book of Exodus, because it says what it says a. Uh, it says a. Uh, let me read that again. It says from 1710 onwards, the other slave population are done, but the other uh, colonial uh, population by as much as three to one. This is uh, Exodus one. Uh, it's the book of Exodus 1 and 8, instead of this, uh, verse 19 says, and the, mid my, and the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and, and delivered uh, uh, to the midwives unto them. Okay? Because what? Because we're known for what? For populating, okay? For feel, fulfilling what, what the Lord said that we must do be fruitful and multiply okay a nation shall shall what shall come okay out of us all right it says uh, another source of slaves of the vocs return from from uh, from from batavia and from other places east which sailed around the cape in their way to europe the voc official could not uh not take their slaves with them then it says when they returned home as slaves was illegal in the Netherlands, therefore many of the officials sold, sold their slaves at the Cape because they could not get a better price for their slaves uh, there than the East Indies. It says uh, foreign ships on their way to their for, from on their way to the Americas from Madagascar also sold sold slaves at the Cape. Because well, when you look at the mud, what was, was happening in Madagascar, they, was, they were using that port, uh, the, the, that island, okay, as what, as before they would go and reach uh, the Cape Town, then move on to, 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 to the New World, into the Americas, so going to sell their slaves there, okay, for refuel, they would use, they would use Madagascar and South Africa and, and the Cape as a stopping point to, to, uh, to refill so to speak to refresh to get food or whatever what they need to do they also ended up while selling slaves in in the cape all right then they will move on in, into selling them uh selling them uh the slaves elsewhere all right because uh you east indians okay i'm, I'm gonna go to that point all right it says uh <coughs> it says, uh, slavery was illegal in the netherlands it says, therefore many of these officials sold their slaves at the cape because they could not get a better price uh, f for their slaves than the East in Indies. Foreign ships in the way in the Americas from Madagascar also sold slaves at the Cape. All right. Now let me go to this before I carry on. All right. From this website, says an outline. All right. It says, uh, let me go up. It says, uh, Nuthal and I do. Okay. It says, uh, it says outline Indian South African history is 1860 to 1970. All right. It says uh, here it says it says brought to the British colony in Natal in 1860 as indentured laborers. It says colonies of five 
year contracts, Indians came to work mainly on sugar plantations where they lived under harsh and very cruel conditions. And after five years, they, they, uh, it says, and after five years, they were given the option of renewing their contracts. And you so called you Negroes, okay, you so called, uh, uh, so called African Americans, you Jamaicans, and West Indians, okay, you Haitians, what contract did you sign? Uh huh. When you, you, you got take, you, you, when you got uh, sold by these Hamites in, in the continent of so called Africa, okay, well, did you, what did you sign? What other papers were you signed off? You signed off yourselves, all right, for five years. Whatever, how, uh, however, how long the contract was, uh, what did you sign? Mm -hmm. What did you sign? Because clearly, these East Indians, Elam signed. Okay, they signed. Uh, we we never signed anything. We were forced. Okay, we were forced out of our own goddamn fucking will. Uh huh. Since brought into the British colony of Natal in 1860 as indentured uh, laborers, colonies of five year contracts. Indians came to work mainly on sugar plantations where they lived un under very harsh and cruel conditions. Uh, that's what the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 12 says, well, Never trust thine enemy. Okay? After five years, they were given the option to, of renewing their contracts returning to india or becoming independent independent workers so you east indians you know israelites you don't fit uh, the prophecy of the Quran in 28 and 68 it says thou shalt see no more you know what let me just get that it's a book of the chapter 28 all right Deuteronomy chapter 28 all right Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 says the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with shifts by the way whereof I speak unto you, thou shalt see no more again. Meaning what? The land we shall not see again. So you were offered an opportunity after your indentured us servitude contract once once it expired. You can go back home. This is what the scripture says. Okay, Elam. It says Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with sheaves by the way whereof I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bound men and bound women. No man shall buy you. Redeem. No one, nobody is going to redeem us. And we still not redeemed unto this very day. All right. That's what the scripture says in Zephaniah 3. And he says, what? It says, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Okay, we're waiting on upon Yahabashinasha to come and deliver us. All right? Because we're still finding ourselves amongst all these nations, whithersoever we've been scattered among them, amongst all these nations. Okay? You, you don't fit prophecy. You, you, you don't fit, okay, that, that prophecy, Elam. All right? You don't fit that at all. Okay? All right? It says, uh, after five years, Okay, let me go to this. All right. It says what? It says uh, after. It says uh, after. F let me just highlight this one. All right. What the fuck? Slug it. Slug it. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, after five years, they were given option of renewing their contracts, returning to India. Uh, the Lord, it says, what in Deuteronomy, 20, Deuteronomy 28 says, thou shalt see no more again. So no matter what happens, we know we will never see our land again until the Lord returns us. Okay. It says, it says uh, after five years, they were given the option the option of returning of, of renewing their contracts return returning to india or becoming independent workers it says <laughs> all right it says uh, to induce the colonies into second terms the colonial uh, government of natal promised grant of land on expiry of contracts but the colony did not honor this agreement and only but 
50 people receive plots. That's a lie right here. That's Esau Edom right here. Okay, Psalms 50. Some Psalms goes into that. Okay, goes into that. His words were what were smoother than butter. All right, <laughs> he lied. That's an Edomite for you. Okay, you should never trust your enemy. And Elam fell for it. Okay, he fell for it. Just like all these nations, all right? He's the hem of the whole earth, all right? And that hammer right now is being brought low by, by the spirit of, and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, by the word coming out, all right? Exposing you devils for what, the kind of devils that you are, okay? <laughs> okay, it says, uh, it says, nevertheless, many opt for freedom and became small holders, market gardeners, fisher, fishermen, domestic servants, waiters, or cold miners. Says some left the colony, but in eighteen in, in but in the eighteen seventies, free Indians were exploring opportunities in the Cape Colony, the Orange Free State, in the Free State today know and South African Republic Transvaal. These who sought uh, who sought to make their fortunes in the diamond and the gold fields were not allowed digging rights and became traders and hawkers and workers. All right. Let me jump down. Here's the point. It's continued uh, importation of indentured labor until 1911. Those These Indians who came here in search of a better hope who were under a contract to come and work here in South Africa. No, they never came here as slaves. Okay, it says, it says sporadic. Uh, though it says those sporadic uh, in, encourage opportunistic traders and mentions from India and Mauritius to migrate to, to South Africa. Oh, and also some they came from Madagascar. Okay. That's another point. They just they left out of here. It says to to my to, to migrate uh, to uh, to South Africa. These independent migrants known as passenger Indians are uh, because these one were it were in, indentured uh, uh, slaves or indentured labor should I say. Okay, rightfully so. Indentured labor. You never came here as slaves. It was not a charteris a slavery. Okay. But you know the devil from being the devil that he is, he ended up fucking you up either way. Okay. Says says uh, these independent migrants known as 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 passenger uh, Indians began arriving in the country about 1875. Many of them quickly acquired land and set up business and trading ports. Post okay, so when the uh, enterprise began to encroach on the white settlements, laws and regulations were passed to limit uh, their expansion and acquisition of land. Immigrants living in republics, unlike those in the British colony of Natal, uh, were not uh, enfranchised and were not welcome to the republics, and the laws were passed uh, to contain the growth and development. Uh, that's ESO for you, okay? That's ESO for you. You shouldn't trust this guy. In fact, let me go to this next article over here. Okay. All right, see, so from the exact same uh, article, speaking of uh, the same, uh, from South African History .org .za goes into the Indian, he says the Indians, uh, South Africans, going to a little bit of, from the history, says, from bondage to freedom. <laughs> says, uh, the, the 150th anniversary of arrival of, of uh, Indian workers in South Africa, says, what well, Indian workers in South Africa, uh, the arrival of, of Indian workers in South Africa, not slaves, all right? Not slaves, says, what well, says, 18... Uh, 60 to 20, 2010. All right. That's about what 157 years later. Now, I right, says that uh, the future mm, on on uh, Indian South Africans uh, forms a part of a large future of uh, people uh, of the people of South, of South Africa. It says it is long term project to build comprehensive overview of the rich diversity of peoples, traditions, culture that address question who who are South Africans? 
Uh, there's no such thing in South Africa. So they got them geographical location. Uh, got all kinds of people here. You got, South, you got East Indians. You, you got you you got Hamites. You, you got all kinds of people. You got Japanese, Chinese. You got you you have Esau. All these kind of nations are here. You have Ishmael. All kinds of nations are all mingled up. Okay. This place is, is full of confusion. Uh, anyway, let me go down to the point. So the first Indians arrived during the Dutch colonial era as slaves, indentured slave, uh, indentured labor. So to I should say is that should say that. Let's go to show the, the the deception. Now it says as slaves. Right over here says what it says arrival of Indian workers in South Africa. Okay. Now they become slaves. You know. So the, the consecutive calculation based strictly on records shows over 16,600 16, uh, indentured uh, 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 workers labor from the Indian subcontinent having been brought to the Cape uh, from 16, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let me go down. It says that between November 1860 in 1911 when the system of indentured labor was stopped all right so beginning what be between 1860 and 1911 says what the indentured uh, servitude was stopped says nearly in f nearly uh, says nearly about uh 152,184 indentured from across india arrived in the in the tal all right says after serving the indentures says you know what let me just go with it. let's go to this uh what is indentured labor okay let's go to it all right it says uh indentured labor it says indian indenture system was a system in, of indenture from depth bondage by which 3.5 million indians were transported to various colonies european powers to provide labor for making sugar plantations started at the end says it started from the end of slavery in 1833 and continued until 1920. Alright. Uh, so now I want so something over here. Mm. Okay, this is uh it's like it. Just bear with me, okay? All right. Oh, here it is from the, the National uh, Archives dot gov dot uk. Says many Indians agree agreed to become indentured laborers to escape widespread poverty and famine in the nineteenth centuries. Says some traveled alone others uh, brought their families to settle in the colonies they worked in the demand of indian indentured labor increased dramatically after uh, uh, the abolish 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 of slave of, of uh, slavery in 1834 uh, all uh, right in 1934 uh, so you you east indians man stop lying okay you better stop lying because the same Dutch is here uh, so-called Dutchess who colonized uh, South Africa and, and over overtook everything the same thing they did in, in Suriname all right all the way back this is a this is a from Wikipedia it says Suriname Dutch colony okay I'm just going just gonna go to the point for the interest of time uh, it says a colonization of Suriname ma marked by slavery this plantation uh, relied on slave labor mostly supplied by the Dutch West Indian Company, the same Dutch East Indian Company that came in South Africa and conquered everything. Okay, as they had slaves from the some few few from the West Coast, from uh from from where uh, from uh, Angola, from uh, from, and from Ghana. As they took them, the same ones, the same guys who did the, what they did, as they, they had slaves in uh, in uh, in Suriname. All right. So this colonization of Suriname is marked by slavery the plantation relied on slave labor mostly supplied by the dutch west indian company from its trading post 
in West Africa to produce their crops, sugar, cotton, and indigo were the main goods exported from the colony to the Netherlands until the 18th century when coffee became uh, the single most important export pro product from Suriname. Uh, so the planter's treatment uh, of slaves was no, no, uh, notoriously bad. His histor uh, historian uh, C.R. Uh, Boxer uh, wrote that main, men's hum inhuma in inhumanity uh, to men just about reached its limit in Suriname. Uh, let me just go here. It says abolishment of slaves. Uh, says slavery was uh, uh, <laughs> it was eventually abolished in 1863. Although the slaves were only released after ten year transitional trans uh, transitionary uh, period in eight in 1873. Says the, this spared uh, the immigration of indentured labors from the Brit British India after a treaty of that effect had been signed between ne Netherlands and the United Kingdom in 1870. Apart from the uh, this, apart from immigration from the British India, Javanese workers from Dutch East Indies were also contracted to work on plantation in Suriname. Uh, that's how you get this relationship. This, that's how most most of the Indians use Indians thinking, oh, what about us? We must be Israelite too. We got sold. You never got sold on the or on translatic slave trade. All right, you were you came out of your own free will trying to escape poverty. Okay. All right, that's a lie. You 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 were opportunists. Okay, you were looking for an opportunity an an opportunity. All right, trying to escape poverty. Uh, now I say that, let's get uh, Joel 3 and 5. It says, Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried in your temples my godly present things, the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Christians that they might remove them far from their border. Oh, I got removed remove from where? From our land, Israel. Okay, in the Middle East, that's our land. Judah being what? The so-called Negroes, okay, so-called Haitians, okay, so-called West Indies, so-called Jamaicans, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. This is Judah, our Jerusalem, which are which are so-called Latinos, called okay, Native Americans, all right. It says uh, it says the jo Joel three and six, the ch the children of Judah and the children of of Jerusalem have his soul unto the Christians, the so-called white men, the Greeks, as they see civilization side of the Greeks, okay, the white man, the devil, Edom, Esau, because that they might remove them far from their border. Alright. Says, Behold, I will raise them out of the, the place whither ye have sold them. Alright, it doesn't matter where you are. You're gonna know who you are, you an Israelite, whithersoever you've been scattered. This is what the scripture says here. And we see this thing happening right now in front of in front in front of us right now. Okay, it says, Behold, I have raised them out of the place where ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head. All right. Revelation thirty nine and ten, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. It says, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to the people of far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. All right. For the Lord has spoken it. All right. The Lord has spoken it. All right. Because you East Indians, man, even the Caribbean, Caribbeans, you, you all over the goddamn place. You got scattered because you were seeking opportunity. All right. You were seeking opportunity. That's the only reason why you got scattered, you East Indians. Okay. All, you're all over the goddamn place. Because right? you were seeking opportunity from uh, from Esau, Edom, uh, a goddamn enemy. You, you can't compare what, what what happened to you to what happened to the Israelites, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You can't. Okay, you can't. That's very dis disrespectful. Uh, this, uh, so Daniel 9, verse 12 says, He have confirmed his words. Which he speak against us and against our judges that judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil 
from under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. All right. Whatever you may complain about, look, it is nothing compared to what we went through. It is nothing. Okay? It is nothing. The last article. All right? I'm going to go to it. You know. Uh, last article I'm gonna go to it's not the one what the hell happened here anyway let me close off limitation you can't find the article okay this is limitation 3 chapter 2 verse uh, 13 it says what thing shall I take to, to witness for thee what things shall I liken to thee? Uh, what happened to us? Being sold. Okay, even the Native Americans got sold. Okay, so-called Puerto Ricans uh, got sold first. Okay, when now, uh, what's the name of this guy? What's the name of this guy again? God damn it. Uh, Amerigo Vespucci. It's like another Amerigo Vespucci. This guy, what's the name of this guy? I mean, Columbus, Christopher Colomb. Uh, Okay, that's the guy who started the, the, the slave trade. Okay. These are the guys who started the slave trade. But literally, is it no? Okay. It says, Lamentation 2 and 13. It says, What thing shall I, li I like? It says, What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I like to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy breach is great like the sea who can hear it uh, and that breach is being healed right now as it says he will in Amos says what he shall close the breaches thereof through his word okay being merciful through our through, through the elect to be saved okay and the rest of you nations you're gonna get your judgment that that's coming for you okay your judgment is on its way you go into captivity every single last one of you okay keep Keep trying to come up these different lies. Uh, you know what? Uh, we all went through this. We were all slaves. No, that's a lie, oh, man. The captivity of what happened to Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, Simeon, okay, e e Ephraim, Agad, Reuben, Manasseh, Ishka, Naphtali, all the 12 tribes, Simeon, okay, Asher, all the 12 tribes, uh, you can't compare it. Okay, you cannot compare it. Okay? You can't. That's being very disrespectful. Okay? Show me the contract that, that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans signed off. Okay? Show us that contract. That was no fucking contract, man. Okay? Every single every single treatise uh, that the so-called white man Esau Edom did with, with the Native Americans, the Gadites, he, he, he fucking... Hey, man. He never kept his word. Okay, he never fucking kept his weight at all. Alright, this is Psalms 55. 55 and 20 says, He have put forth his hand against such as be as, at, as, at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Woe, but woe was in his heart. His words were smoother than oil, yet they were drawn sword. Uh, that's the so-called white man. You Elamites, you suffered. Uh, you were promises, uh, okay, a land of flowing with milk and honey, but you got treated like shit at the end. Uh, I found the article. Uh, this is a SA Indians increment of their roots. Uh, released in November the, uh, November the 12th, 2017. Arshan I do. Another thing, Jeremiah 17 says what? It says we shall discontinue from our inheritance. You still got your fucking names, your Naidus, your Shiromani, your whatever, your Moodlis, whatever names you have. You still got your names, Jeremiah 17 and 4 says what? We shall discontinue from our inheritance. Uh -huh. You still calling on your different, your Krishnas, your, 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 your gods, you still worshipping them. You still got their names. Uh, you still got your different idols. 
You got them devils. Uh, you still got you still got your gods you that you worship. You still got your last names, your real names. Uh, you still you, you still got your your language, man. Uh, God damn it. Uh, uh, it says, uh, Alright, says, uh, let me jump down. Let me just go to the point. It says, uh, Matadin was uh, said in when, when asked to share her views on indenture. She, uh, she says, uh, she, let me just do this. Alright. says, um, Matadin, um, mm, Matadin was saddened when asked to share her views on indenture. She said many Indians were running away from home and were eloping. Says it was their opportunity to start a new life. They were promised a land of gold, but many what the fuck? Salakia. Let me go back. And what the hell is going on here? Salakia. Uh, anyway, says, says, says it, it was the opportunity to start a new life. They were promised a land of gold, but many false promises were made. It was in, it was in inhumane because women were abused by their white masters. <laughs> they, when they arrived, they came to work in sugar in sugar cane fields and were treated as slaves. <laughs> it says, uh, Subramani said he came from a family of storytellers and found it hard to distinguish fact from fiction. They couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> that's Esau for you, man. Okay, that's a so-called man for you. He's a goddamn devil. A liar, a deceiver, who should not be trusted. I said, Superman, he said, when he came from, he says he came from a family of storytellers and found it hard to distinguish fact from fiction. Uh, says he was, however, aware that the, uh, his, his great-grandfather, uh, gov says, Governor Drajun Lun and I do had traveled um, with his parents after six years uh like with his parents as a six year old from Madras in eighteen in eighteen sixty nine ask her about the thoughts on the hundred and seventy fifth anniversary of the arrival of in, of Indians in South Africa on the November sixth on the sixteenth Devan said says oh says while South Africa is my country of birth and my home and my home I also have um, emotional and cultural links with India. It is important to understand one's roots. You still got, you still got your roots. You still know where you're from. It says therefore, Indians in South Africa must never forget that their forefathers came, uh, came from India to sell their sweet, or uh, to sell their sweat, to develop. Uh, uh? Let me read that. It says therefore, e uh, Indians in South Africa must never forget their forefathers came from India to sell their sweat. Uh, it says what to sell their sweat to develop Natal. Right there it tells you what they came for to do. They were not here as slaves, but they came here to sell their sweat. They, they came here to work hard. They came here as workers, man, as slavers. Alright. <laughs> Supermani had a stronger ways describing indenture as a time of oppression and white supremacy. Alright. Says reflecting on his cult cultural pride, Naidu added, "I am very proud of our culture, and what the Indian community has achieved in a foreign country in a such short time. We arrived here as, as slaves, not as slaves. You've got, got them fucking lie, All right, but it's, but s somehow managed to build ourselves up. Tell me, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are you Israelite? Have you managed to build yourselves up? Uh huh." Have you? <laughs> have you have you managed to build yourselves up? That's the question. 
Amen. With that, all praises be unto Yahweh. Parashim Yahushai, Parashim Raka Kadash, Tablos unto Yel's Apostles of Great Mosul Yel's on Thou, Shalom Sisinsi, Akim Shalom. All right. It's going to be a two part uh, to this Lord, really. All right. Shalom.